see what is meant by power automate if you want to automate your process uh, you any process in the sense for your uh, work for avoiding your manual work right we are going to be use the for avoiding manual work we can use this uh, power automate like if you want to do automate any process suppose if you want to send any email notification if you want to update any document data if you want to create any excel file or any uh, some if you want to update your data into your sharepoint document sharepoint uh, if you want to convert the some documents into pdf or excel these are the things that if you want to create some approval process if you want to read the data from any your uh, outlook or sharepoint excel data verse from any connector if you want to get the data if you want to convert the data like whatever if you, whatever you want to do automate right using the power automate right we can do it why we can use this power automate for avoiding the manual work uh, for uh, uh, manual work in the sense like we can uh, save the timing for uh, we can fastly develop uh, like uh, for avoiding manual work in a sense we can reduce the time uh, we can uh, fastly write we can the report we can uh, share with the users uh, using this uh, power automated In the power automate right we have the different uh, types of flows we have if you, uh, if you want to log in power automate right uh, same the url how we can use in power apps at make.powerapps.com for the power automate also we have the url make.powerautomate.com if you want to open power automate right you can use the make.powerautomate.com this is the URL for the powerautomate.com. Sorry, powerautomate. Once we type made at powerautomate.com, it will open the powerautomate. Same here also, we have the environment. Once we create the power apps, power automate, or like interlink only, we I created the environments, right? Same that environments I can able to see here also. They will do it for our that environment is right here also we can able to create same in the power as whatever we have power this part we can call it as the left navigation part under left navigation right you can see the home in the home right these are like uh, documentation the microsoft only they have provided the documentation documents if you want to refer right you can we can refer this uh, documents and all you can see the approvals the approvals in the sense uh, uh, some if any user right requested for the approval <coughs> suppose if i received any approval right i have logged in with my initial state if i received any approval that approvals right i can see here if I send any approval, I can see an sender item. If I received any approvals, suppose right, I have I applied for the I have applied for the leave request. I am the manager like uh, Akil. You requested for the leave request. Uh, that approval using the some actions we have in the Power Automate. Using those actions right, we are going to be create uh, that approvals and all that approval right we can see here also in the power automate if anyone sent an approval that approval request right we can see here from here we can approve approve reject uh, that buttons we can see if you want to approve we can able to approve if you want to do reject here we can do that uh, approve reject and all my flows my flows in a sense if you create any flows actually i created the flows right in the table environment I can see the flows. What are the flows I created uh, here? That flows right. I am going to be see here under my flows section. See here under my flows right. You can see the cloud flows, desktop flows shared with me. Under cloud flows, you can see the what are the flows 
the cloud flows in the sense we can open in our browser directly itself uh, no need to install any uh, applications and all we can open in our browser under cloud flow we have the different types of flow cloud flows we have i will show you what are the cloud flows we have the desktop flows if you want to create a desktop flows right we need to install the power bi desktop power automate desktop we have separate how we have uh, power bi application right same the if you want to create any desktop flows right we have the power automate desktop uh, application we have we are going to be install that uh, power bi desktop if you want to create any application and under shared with me what up we start it shared with me in this tab right if you if you created any flow that flow suppose i created one flow that flow right if i shared with you i if i create a flow suppose i created this flow right now i will share with you this flow with you it will show under shared with me in the under shared with me tab right it will display that flow Mm, share. I think it is asking. Uh, he, it is expired the trial version. It is asking the you will not automatically charge it after 90 days. It is asking the money. Actually, our trial period is uh, expired. Okay, fine. That share option. It is not. We'll create a one more account and we'll practice there. If I share with you, right, that this flow, right, it will not show under here. It will uh, display under shared with me tab. It will display. If I shared that flow with you, it will display here. Hmm. See here under new flow, right, you can see the template if from the template if you want to create your flow we'll have the predefined templates in the power automate uh, see here these are all like microsoft uh, predefined templates how we have in the sharepoint list uh, some templates right default list here also in the power automate we have the default power automate flows we have using these flows right we can uh, create the if it is needed we can use this flows and we can uh, create our flows and all see the microsoft only they have provided in, instead of uh, creating from the scratch right we can use this uh, default uh, templates also <coughs> using this uh, default templates right we can create the suppose i have a requirement uh, See here, uh, have the uh, out save outlook email attachment to your uh, like I have the requirement like uh, uh, I have the some attachments um, I from the outlook mail right I will receive that attachment that attachments I need to store in my OneDrive automatically how we can do it if you know the steps right directly we can uh, start from the scratch we can take the outlook connector and uh, we can take we can do use the one drive connector and we can create if you know the steps if you don't know sometimes right we can come here we can check the in the template see here now i have the some default uh, the template i have the microsoft only they have created this uh, template we can use this uh, template save outlook email attachment to your onedrive automatically whatever the out in the outlook mail right if i received any attachment that attachments automatically should be stored in my onedrive in my onedrive it should be stored if you see here okay now i can see onedrive okay i uh, whatever the outlook uh, attachments if i received in my outlook that it should be stored in my one drive how we can that using the power automate right automatically we can do it in this one drive right i want to store those attachments 
if you open this uh, flow right the steps it, uh, they have clearly it will be available click on sign in we need to do sign in we need to provide our restaurant name One, two, three, four. On Microsoft.com. It's not working. Mm -hmm. it is not taking actually it's supposed to take found reasoning one two three four dot on a soft dot com it is not taking We'll create a one more trial account. Maybe we can check there. Once we click on sign in, it will uh, automatically the flow. It will create whatever the attachments will receive in our Outlook mail, right? In my mail ID, that attachments that right, automatically it will store in one right. Using the Power Automate, right? We can able to do it. And like these are the different uh, scenarios we have. We can use this uh, templates, predefined uh, templates we have. We can use those templates and we can uh, create the flow sum. These are all the templates. If you click on more templates, right, all the templates you can see. Update an Excel table from the Power BI. If you want to update an Excel, right, from the Power BI, we can use this uh, Power Automate uh, flow, predefined uh, flow template. We can use it. If you want to schedule a meeting from a message, from like if you want to schedule a meeting in your Teams, right? We can able to schedule the meeting. These are all the predefined uh, templates we have. If it is needed, right? We are going to be use these templates on all. Your Outlook email attachments uh, uh, want to move to your Google Drive, right? We can use in the Power Automate, we can able to do it. These are all the predefined templates. If you need it, we can use these uh, templates. That uh, you can call that are the templates we have. Then we can come to the automated instant schedule. See here in interview for uh, the ask right how many types of flows we have. We have the <clears throat> four types of uh, flows we have automated, instant, schedule, desktop flow. These are the four types of uh, flows we have. Uh, four, power autom four types of power automated flows we have. What is meant by automated flow? What is meant by instant, schedule, desktop flow? We can discuss it. Automated flow in the sense the flow right automatically it will trigger. See the trigger means in the power automate right uh, the trigger only it will start our flow. Uh, uh, what is minimum trigger? Trigger it will start our flow. For the automated flow right we'll have the different triggers. See these are all the triggers we can call it as. Suppose uh, in a SharePoint, right? In a SharePoint, uh, uh, in a share, we have a SharePoint list. In the SharePoint list, right? If any new item is created, automatically, if you want to trigger your flow, automatically, if you want to trigger your flow, that time, right? We can use this uh, automated uh, cloud flow. We can use. We can give our uh, flow name automated. Your flow name. We can select the these are the triggers we have uh, when a new response this is the microsoft forms 
uh, same how we have the power automate power app side we have the microsoft uh, farms also we have simple farms in the sense like uh, any feedback form some little bit some forms we are going to be create in the if you want to trigger your flow when a new form any new response is created in your microsoft form right that time right we are going to be use this trigger if you are working on like in the sharepoint right then we can use this sharepoint related triggers we are going to be if you type sharepoint right all we can get the only sharepoint related triggers we can get see here all the these are all the sharepoint triggers in interview also they will ask can you tell me the uh, any uh, any five triggers uh, for the sharepoint related we can tell these are all the triggers when item is created a file created a, when we file is created in a folder or when item is created or when item is created or modified or when file is deleted these are the triggers like um share bind related triggers we have we can tell this uh, any five triggers um, when item is deleted when item is created when item is modified or created like this we can tell item in the sense share by related to the sharepoint list in the sharepoint list right if any new item is created modified that time if you want to trigger your flow right then we can use this uh, triggers in a sharepoint document library if any file is uh, added created right that time right we can use this uh, share when a file is created file in the sense document library if you want to create your flow like related to your document library right that time right we can use this uh, uh, when file is uh, created trigger we are going to be use these are all the sharepoint related uh, triggers we have if you want like any if i remove sharepoint we have the other triggers also we have one drive trigger planner trigger email triggers teams trigger azure devops triggers see in any our azure devops right any work item is created or work item is updated automatically if you want to trigger your flow right that time right we are going to be use this uh, triggers data was trigger also we have when a row is added modified deleted uh, that time right if you want to trigger your flow automatically right we can use this um, uh, data was a trigger we can use it Actually, teams related uh, outlook related uh, see here yeah, i have the outlook related also uh, suppose you received any outlook email right automatically if you want to trigger your flow suppose i received any mail uh, automatically i want to trigger my flow right we can use this uh, when a new email arrives this trigger we can use automatically right my flow it will trigger it will execute the whatever the actions actions means uh, in the middle of the flow right it will come first right we'll start our flow with like a trigger these are all the triggers after trigger whatever the steps we have taken right that all the steps we can call it as the actions now right i will take one uh, trigger hmm, now i have taken this is my trigger trigger it will start our uh, flow what trigger i have taken sharepoint trigger i have taken automated trigger i have taken then when i have when i have clicked on the new step right after trigger whatever the steps you have taken all the steps right we are call, we can call it as the actions see here these are all the actions if you want like a builder desktop flow excel mail data was actions will have the sharepoint related like if you want like sharepoint related actions if you type sharepoint right we can get all the sharepoint related actions we can get uh, if you want like outlook related actions if you type outlook we can get the, all the output uh, outlook related actions whatever the, if you type right that related actions right we are if you want like data words 
data verse actions, right? If you type data verse, see here, these are all the data verse related actions. If you want to update a data in your data verse, right? We can use the update arrow. If you want to add a new, new row in your data verse, right? We can use the add a new row action. We can use it. Based on our requirement, right? Whatever the act, actions, if it is needed in the flow, those are the actions that we can take it and we can create. Now, right, simple like uh, I want to send an email when an item is created in my SharePoint list. I want to send an email. I will take the action like a say email related action, send an email. If you type email, send an email, right? We can get the send an email. If you type email also, we can get that particular email related actions. All we can get it. Now, if I want to send an email, right, you can use this action, send an email way to. In this action, right, we can select to whom if you want to send an email, we can select the to directly, we can provide our email ID or from the dynamic content, right, if you want to select, we can select it. It is showing the blank, why it is from the dynamic content, we can select our output. It is not coming, why we need to select the our site address where when you want to trigger your flow that site url you need to select my site url is like con resnick one two three four this is my site uh, name on which list uh, if uh, on which list if you want to create your item in issue tracker whenever uh, an item is created in my issue tracker list right automatically my flow it will trigger it will send an email now i can see this here to whom if you want to send an email to address you can select the to whom if you want to send it to address we are going to be give here from the dynamic content rate right, we can select or else we can give the director name also we can give here email id we can paste it here or if you want to give the particular email id right we are going to be give the from the dynamic content, right? We can select in that list, right? We have the assigned to email, created by email, modified by email. Those are the email addresses we have. We can give those email addresses also. Whoever create that item, right? For that user, I want to send an email. Then, right? I can use the created by email subject also. Whatever the subject, if you want to give for your email, right? We can give subject body also in the body of your mail right whatever you want to give that information we can type all the information like this right we can you how we can create the flow right using the trigger and the actions we are going to be create our our automate flow in this flow what is the trigger the when item is created or modified is the trigger what is the action send an email is my action in my flow now you created a simple flow then click on save the flow it will create now right whatever now if you want to test it your uh, flow right it is working or not we can go to our sharepoint in the sharepoint right we can create an item in uh, this issue tracker list automatically my flow it will uh, trigger means trigger in the sense it will run it will run my flow and after it will send an email to whom it will send whoever created that item right for that user right the mail notification it will send this is like automated flow automatically the my flow right it will trigger i have shown you right we have the different uh, types of automated uh, uh, triggers we have using those uh, triggers right we can able to create our automated cloud flow understood right like what is meant by automated cloud flow okay yes bro next uh, instant flow in the sense manual flow see here this flow right automatically it will run no need to run it the instant flow next we have the instant flow instant flow in the sense we need to run manually then only the flow right it will run it so yeah, we can see the symbol also manual run like uh, that hand symbol we have right it means like we need to run manually then only 
my flow it will execute or else it will not run what are the triggers we have for the uh, instant flow see here in Indra also they will also can you tell me the instant flow triggers now we have to tell like manual trigger a flow power apps when a power virtual agent so these are the triggers we have to tell power bay button clicked for a selected file sharepoint related these are like sharepoint related triggers in the instant flow instant flow these are the triggers we have manual power apps if you want to connect your power automate flow to your uh, power apps right we can use this uh, power apps button trigger only we can use it using this uh, trigger right we can able to connect our power automate uh, flow to our canvas application our power apps in interview also they will ask how you can connect your power automate flow to your power apps that i'm right we have to tell like this uh, in the power automate right we can select our trigger like the power apps button power apps button trigger we can select so using those trigger right we can able to connect a power automate flow to our power apps like this right we need to tell if they ask like how we can connect our power automate flow to our power apps these are all the instant triggers uh, we have we can select the trigger any trigger manual trigger i have selected after the trigger right we need to take the action you can give your flow name see if you trying to save right it will not save if you want to save your flow right at least we need a one trigger and one action without action right we cannot able to save your flow whatever the action if you want to take right we could take the trigger or action we can able to add here i will take send an email only if you want to send an email right we can able to send directly right i am going to be give my email ad only if i type my email my name automatically will come my name test it should be my it's the symbol right it's your like required star symbol it means uh, we need to give the if you give blank right it will not save it will throw the error here in the flow checker right we can see the errors and all in the power apps how we have flow checker right same here also we have the flow checker if you have any errors in your flow right we can able to check that errors in the flow checker so here, the subject it should be like the required field we need to give the any some blank value we need to provide it now if i try to save right my flow it will save yes this flow right we need to run manually automatically it will not trigger how we are going to be run manually from here right test option we have right so here we can see the manually if you want to run manually right we can able to run manually now if i say after do test right the mail notification if i do run right the notification i will receive i have given my email id right i am going to be receive my email id this is like a instant flow instant flow right we need to run the manually next to schedule flow schedule flow right schedule in the sense at a particular time and time at a particular time if you want to run your flow we can set the time suppose every day 10 am i want to trigger i want to run my flow uh, we can provide the starting the time date or timing or everything we can get uh, every minute or every month every day every week every hour every second if you want to run your flow right we are going to be select that particular timing and all we can going to be automatically auto not automatically at a particular time interval set right, my flow it will run trigger my flow schedule flow 
you can click on create for the schedule flow right we will have the any one trigger it should we should have we can take any action we need it see here it is like a required star mark we have we need to provide any value click on save now right uh, my flow every one minute right automatically it will run my flow it will run and it will execute whatever the actions we have in our flow it will execute this is the recurrence flow recurrence flow in a sense automatically at a particular time interval right my flow it will trigger this is like a schedule flow then what is desktop flow desktop flow in a sense the we have want to create any desktop we need the power that power automate desktop we need to install it you can create our the, there we can create our power automate uh, flows that desktop flows right we can connect to your uh, into your browser right we can connect to that flow into your here first we need to create a power automate and we need to publish that power automate desktop flow then we can connect that flow to your desktop here we will not discuss we will discuss with the first three only automated instant and schedule flows only understood now automated instant or schedule between what is difference between uh, three yes sir. automated in the sense automatically the flow it will trigger so instant means uh, manually we need to run our flow schedule flow in a sense uh, we need to like uh, sorry uh, the flow it will uh, run at a particular uh, time intervals you can set the particular time and it will run the automatically flow at a particular time intervals tomorrow right we can uh, discuss the in depth also like uh, automated we can create any some sample close and we i will show the demo i'll have the different scenarios we have i'm going to be explain those uh, scenarios also okay. i will stop the recording